<laughs> Microsoft dead dead killed killed Sony just killed Microsoft at that press conference that is all there is to it before I get into the games let's just let's just clarify Sony and the PlayStation 4 will support used games there'll be no DRM and it is priced right $399 £349 which is a hundred quid less than that VCR that plays Halo killed it absolutely fucking killed it that's what that <laughs> That's what happens, Microsoft, when you get greedy. When you get greedy with the doska. You know, you get spanked. You start coming with the TV shit. You forget about the people that support you in the first place. And you get spanked. That's just the way of it. Okay, right, let's get into the nit and gritty of this. However, and it is maybe a quite big however for a lot of people... Uh, you do have to have PlayStation Plus now in order to play your games online. So it is kind of like an Xbox Live subscription. Well, that basically is what it is. Um, but then again, you know, I'm good with that. I'm good with paying for PlayStation Plus to game online on the PS4. Because PlayStation Plus is such a good service. It's like, it's a no-brainer that, you know... I, I will pay for it. PlayStation Plus, you know, one subscription, and that gets you PlayStation Plus over PS3, P PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation 4. That's a lot of free content you're getting for that one amount. That's a lot of discounts that you're getting for that one amount. You know, when, when you take into consideration the amount of money you're saving through PlayStation Plus, Paying for it over the year just to game online now is not a big deal whatsoever. Sony are coming with quality and they're coming with value. Straight up. Honestly, you know, they, they, oh, they killed it. Absolutely killed it. it you know, to, to be quite honest, right, in terms of the actual press conference, you know, through it, um... I don't know about whether I was like underwhelmed or whether I was just tired because I was sat here like nodding off a bit because it is like 4 a.m. in the UK right now. Um, I mean, video game wise, you know, we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of what they've shown already. We already knew what's coming. The Assassin's Creed 4, you know, they actually shown gameplay and it looked great, but the the um, the demo kept stuttering and freezing, which was kind of embarrassing. Um, Watch Dogs looks fantastic. Again, every time I see that game, it, it blows my mind just a little bit more. It looks fantastic on PS4. Um, what else did they show? They had all, all the indie games lined up as well. They shown them. The new Final Fantasy game looks amazing. Um... The Elder Scrolls Online looks amazing, and I can't wait for that game. That's coming to PlayStation 4 too, but also to Xbox One and PC. That's coming out in spring. That looks great. Infamous Second Son looks amazing. Killzone Shadowfall looks amazing. Killzone Shadowfall is a launch title. Drive Club is a launch title. And Drive Club, you actually get free day one if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber. So, there you go. Sign up to PlayStation Plus and you get your first PlayStation 4 game for free. How can you argue with that? You know? How can you argue with that? What else did they show? You know, it, it, it was very big on PlayStation 4, obviously, because that is the next gen. That's a new console. This is the launch of a new console, you know. But then again, it also they also reminded us how, how great of a year that... Um, PlayStation 3 is having, you know, with the likes of The Last of Us and Gran Turismo 6 and Beyond Two Souls coming out. You know, it's in another incredible year 
for PlayStation 3. Um, King, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was also announced for PlayStation 4. You know, ev loads of people have been hammering for Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, Square Enix finally announced it. So, I mean, Vita-wise, kind of disappointed on the, on the Vita um, score, to be honest. I mean, they didn't really go into, well, hardly anything. You know, I can't even remember. Uh, I don't even th think they announced any brand new games for Vita. Or did they? I can't really remember. But, you know, I, f I felt a bit sorry for Vita because it, it was always going to be a difficult year for Vita at this year's E3 because obviously with Sony bringing out the PlayStation 4, it was always going to overshadow the Vita. So whether or not it's a good thing that they didn't, start announcing all these brand new titles for Vita out of fear of it just being overshadowed anyway and they'll probably announce them at a later date maybe that's a good thing I mean we've got Killzone Mercenary on the horizon uh, they all actually they, they did announce some games they announced that the God of War collection is coming to PlayStation Vita that's God of, God of War 1 and 2 um, like the HD collection that's coming to Vita um, as well as flower and and some other games anyway but yeah i, I kind of felt sorry for the vita but like i say it's possible that the, the saving saving the big vita games for maybe a later date at tgs or something like that i don't know gamescom i don't know um but i i, I do kind of think that e3 was all about PlayStation 4. It, it wasn't right for the Vita, if I'm honest. Um, it's a shame, but I think it. I, I think maybe in the long run it'll serve the Vita better, um, because it, either way it was going to get overshadowed by the PlayStation 4. It's just one of them things. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of great games are coming are coming to this system. They really are. I mean, honestly, I can't. I can't fault the PlayStation 4 at this point. I really cannot. They've done, they've done literally. Sony have literally done everything right. There is nothing there whatsoever at this point that makes me say, hmm, I'm not too sure. Question marks upon question marks upon question marks on the Xbox One. None of that shit on the PlayStation 4. No way. I mean, like I say, it's got the used games. There's no DRM whatsoever. Okay, pl pay for PlayStation Plus the game online, but that's one subscription across three platforms. Three platforms with all them discounts, all them free games you get. It's a steal to play online. Honestly, it's an absolute steal. You know, they've got the great games, like I said, the launch titles, Knack, Killzone, um, Drive Club at launch that's just first party games you got to think about the the third party games you know the the fifas the call of duties um watchdogs assassin's creed all them games coming out day one day one hopefully anyway day one um i hope fingers crossed fifa 14 will be a playstation 4 launch title but they just and, and that price, the price, I mean, you know, there was question marks about the price. Everyone was expecting it to kind of be the same as as uh, Microsoft and the Xbox One. I mean, Microsoft is selling their shit for $500 in the US. You know, and Sony went £100 cheaper. £100 cheap. well, $100 cheaper. And, and yeah, pretty much £100 cheaper in the UK, you know. It's 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 mind boggling. It's it's out of this world. It's amazing. I mean, thank thank God, thank God, they 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 absolutely killed it. This is possibly Sony's best E3 in years, in terms of showing us the future of gaming, showing us great games, showing us that they are the place for us gamers to go to, showing us that they are. You know, the company that offers value the most to gamers. I am, at this point in time, 
thinking to myself, well, do I even need an Xbox One at launch? What titles are going to be on the Xbox One at launch that I just have to have, you know, and spend this extra money for it? I mean, really? I, I work full time. I work full time. The PlayStation 4 drops this year. I'm going to be spending a shit ton of money on that anyway because I'll be getting all the games as well as the console. Do I really need to buy an Xbox One? I'm definitely reconsidering it. PlayStation and Sony have made me reconsider my purchase. I mean, and this is what I was saying a few days back. I mean, you know, you announce the DR, you know, you announce, you know, the no need for the DRM. Um, you talk about, you know, being a value for money, you get the price right, and them Xbox gamers will migrate over to the PlayStation 4. I'm telling you, there's going to be so many, like, hyped up people now. It's all over Twitter, all over Twitter. You know, Microsoft got killed, Sony come, they fucking, boom, you know, killed it. Absolutely killed it. I mean, I don't know whether my, you know, Come tomorrow morning, Microsoft's stock level might come down. Sony's might have gone up a bit. We'll see. There's going to be a lot of happy gamers out there. I'm absolutely telling you. I mean, to be honest, I think if you're a gamer, if you're a hardcore gamer, I really don't see how you could be upset with that press conference. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they got everything right. Okay, fair enough. Um, they got the Grand Theft Auto exclusive content with the bundle, with the headset, you know, being supported by Rockstar. You know, Bungie come out on stage, showed off the gameplay of Destiny, and Destiny was looking fantastic. You know, they've got the exclusive content with uh, Destiny, exclusive content with Watch Dogs. I mean, when you're getting all that, who gives a fuck about, you know, timed DLC on Call of Duty? Honestly. Honestly, I mean, that Destiny game is looking fantastic. You know, they've got this good, great partnership going with Sony, um, you know, to expand the game and keep the game going and more robust on PlayStation 4 and all this shit. You know, it's like, I, I can't see how the hardcore gamer can really be mad at that press conference. They just, they did it right. Unfortunately, however... And that, uh, and that's just a big one to me. There was no mention of Uncharted 4. Um, but, you know, and I said this on um, BrooklynKing.com earlier on, that I kind of had a feeling that we probably wouldn't see anything really of Naughty Dog. And I say that because The Last of Us is dropping this week. You know, it's you know critical acclaim. You know, I don't think they, they, they would have wanted Naughty Dog to come out and introduce a brand new PlayStation 4 title, you know, possibly Uncharted 4, and have that overshadow the release of The Last of Us. Um, I just kind of had a feeling, you know, that was going to happen, if I'm honest. I'm, I mean, I wanted Uncharted 4 to be announced, but I just had that feeling where, nah, because it... it feel it would just overshadow the the release of The Last of Us just a tiny little bit. And I think, you know, The Last of Us is Naughty Dog's um, PlayStation 3 swan song. So let it have its day, um, critical acclaim sales-wise, before you go announcing the next big thing, you know, because it looks like The Last of Us deserves its time in the sun, basically. So... Yeah, so I'm not really too mad about the Uncharted 4 thing, if I'm honest. And I know that it is probably on its way, and we'll hear about it possibly before the end of the year. Um, but, you know, we'll see. So, yeah, I mean, like I say, I think my uh, Sony have completely killed it. I think they've won E3. Honestly, can't see Nintendo doing anything substantial enough in their Nintendo Direct tomorrow to, you know, win over the, this whole E3. I think Sony have done what they came to do. They talked about entertainment. I mean, they, they got that in as well. You know, of course, they are a gaming platform, but they still have to offer entertainment with Music Unlimited, Video Unlimited, Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, um, all that bullshit, you know. It's still an entertainment device. 
but at the core they cater, they cater to other gamers so i'm happy i'm not mad whatsoever in fact i'm fucking hyped for this machine i've i've already got my pre-order down from like two months ago anyway um so i'm locked in with mine i don't give a shit i'm getting my ps4 it's going down the end of this year so yeah i'm all over that shit all over it so um hit me up in the comment section let me know what you think but right now it's 20 past four in the morning i've been watching e3 streams since what half past four this afternoon like a straight 12 hours i've been watching this shit my head is banging i'm tired i'm still drinking fucking coke at 20 past four in the morning to try and keep me awake I have work at 10 o'clock, I need to be up in less than 4 hours, so I'm going to go to bed, so like I say, hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think, who won E3, um, yeah, man, I'm hyped as fuck, so that's it from me guys, I'll probably be back tomorrow to talk about Nintendo Direct, so make sure you check that out, make sure you check out all my other reviews of the press conferences, Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft. Um, you'll find that on my channel. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe. And that's it from me. I'm your boy Scatino and I'm out. Peace.